All right, guys. Hey, I'm back with another video. Look, I'm gonna show you all today how to fix this with the bangs. Anytime you get stuff like this with the bangs, uh, it's probably because you're using Hair Builder, or the the bangs aren't actually part of the mesh. So I've had this happen to me on several occasions. Pretty much anything. Anytime I've imported a character with bangs on it, it does this. You you'll always go into here. And you'll try to play around with the with the physics asset, but you can't quite get it right. If you pull it too far back, it uh, starts going down in the front and back in like this. And if you make it smaller, it you know it just it, it gets worse and worse. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to how to fix that. This was uh, an issue that I struggled with for a while, and uh, I couldn't figure out how, why I was doing it. And I finally figured out. So if you come over here, and let's say you throw the half up straight onto her like I did right here. It's made up of, uh, if you go to your scenes, you can see it's made up of four different pieces. Uh, the fix to get this into one as one mesh so it's treated as one mesh not several different pieces you have to uh, go to scene and select all of them by clicking it and holding shift and selecting you can't do it from the morphs tab so don't try that go to your attributes now go to convert to accessory and reset to default shape now if you used any morphs you're going to want to bake current shape uh, I haven't used any morphs so I'm just going to use the reset to default shape now it's uh I'll give it a second now you'll see they're all accessories now you're gonna hold shift and select them again go to modify now go to merge accessories now it's now as you can see it's one mesh so it's going to be treated as one mesh even if it has multiple materials so press W, oh, no, not W. Uh, if you have this issue like this where it's doing this, uh, what you can do is you can go lock scale XYZ and just turn this up 1 or 2%. 1% is sometimes enough, sometimes you need 2%. Uh, in this case, I only needed 1%. And that seems to have mostly fixed it. I'm seeing a little scalp issue right here, so maybe I'll go. Uh, no, that didn't really fix it. Okay, maybe that's just my imagination. So, yeah, it does seem to be an issue here. Let's try turning it up to 2% and see if it goes away. No, it does not. Okay, it's part of the mesh, it's part of the scalp mesh. So just turn it up to about 1%. If you need to, you can lower it. Or it's probably it might be too because it's not resting on the head. So if you turn it like this, you'll be able to get an angle on that. And you can lower it and then raise it slightly it might be easier to change it right here there we go yeah looks about right okay so now we're going to export it I've actually already done that so that you don't have to wait for me to do that so if I come over here and I exit out of this one, I'll come over here to this one, and I've imported it. Now, I didn't fix, I didn't fix the hair uh, before I imported it, so you'll see that there's a little scalp bleeding right there, but I'm not worried about it. Also, there seems to be an issue with their eyebrows, or eyelashes, I mean. Yeah. Oh well. So if you get if you get something like that, uh, you could probably 
Let's see, what is that? What is it saying here? Normally, if you select something, you can look at what it is, but in this case, it won't let me see what it is I have selected. Okay, anyway, it looks to be her eye, though, her eye shader. So you would have to adjust the eye shader. Uh, it might be too far forward, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this, because I've already uh, spent too much time. Okay, we're going to call this bangs. Right click. Uh, go to back here. Now right click again after creating those two cloth datas from section. Go to apply and apply the ones that you created. It'll take a split second and it's done. Okay. I thought it was still waiting on it. And then this one to bangs. When that window goes away just know sometimes it doesn't give any indicator that it worked. Now go to activate. Uh, also if you have trouble uh, selecting it uh, you can just make sure that you're in section selection mode. Uh, so that's because if you're not in section selection mode you can see I can't I can't select it. See, I can only select my uh, bones. So you go to section selection mode first. I wish I would have uh, mentioned that before. I might put a note on there. Uh, go to bangs. Now you're going to go to the brush, turn the value, uh, let's see, 45 maybe, and then just paint. Uh, actually, come over here to Asset Details first and scroll down till you see your hair and you can just isolate it. And then you're just going to paint along the very tips of it. If you miss some, make sure you're looking back as you're going because you, you, you probably missed something because it doesn't catch all of them that are hiding underneath it. So. Wait, what did I do? Oh, okay, there we go. Go back over here. Go to the inside. You can hit it from behind too, if you need to. Whatever, float your boat. All right, let's see. There's a little thing right there. Okay. Try to get it uh, somewhat even from side to side. It, it's not that big of a deal, but it helps if things are a bit even. All right. Now go back down to your, oh, go to your clothing data. Also, I mean, it's probably a little bit too late to mention this now, but you can go to window and clothing if it's not showing up. Now go to your smooth tool, uh, point two is probably okay, and just do that until it gets near the top. Went a little bit too far out there. Go back to your brush, set it to zero this time, and now just color in around that area you wanted it to stop at. It's like how how well you get it isn't that important, so and that should be good. Now we're gonna go to the back here, and we're gonna do the same thing about forty five. Again, you're gonna have to come back through here and. Uh, try to get all the ones that you missed because if it's if it doesn't have any pink on it then it's not gonna add any physics at all to that strand of hair so just remember that you have to try to get all of them it's gonna be hard because you're gonna miss some because uh, there's so many but the more complex uh, or the thicker the hair let's say 
uh, the harder it's going to be to not miss one. So you can see I missed some right here. I'm just going to... Let's see. I'm, I didn't get them either. Hopefully I'll get them as I go through here. And I will inevitably miss some, as you'll see, I'm sure. Ooh, I, meant, I found a whole bunch of them right here I missed. Yeah, okay. Still missing some. Yeah, I can see them. There we go. Did I miss any more? I'm sure I did. Where is that? I need to get those strands of hair. There we go. There's one of them. That one is being evasive. Did I get it? Let me turn... Oh, I do have it all the way down. Jesus. Scroll back on your wheel. There we go. That slows it down quite a bit. Okay. And I'm still missing some back here. In the back. I'm not getting them either, am I? Okay. Well, just go back here smooth. And hopefully I did. I didn't actually miss them, and I just think I did. Uh, that one's on the back side. Yeah. There we go. Did I miss any? I'm not too worried about these up here, but actually I'm probably just going to leave those alone. It's not that big of a deal. Be careful with some of these that, that look like they're high up because they're probably the tips of some of the strands. And if you get them too pink or too uh, gray, then they'll literally just fall out of her uh, hair. Or fall off her hair and I screwed this up up there and that's okay we'll go back to the brush go to zero and we'll just paint along here hope I'm not making this too long I have a feeling I am But if you made it this far, then you must really want to learn this stuff. That's all I gotta say. Because most people that watch my videos, uh, they watch like three seconds of it and then they move on to something else. People nowadays, they have very short attention spans. This is why my videos aren't popular because I don't do them in like, I don't condense like all this down into like five seconds of video footage. But I'm not actually trying to make money off of YouTube, so I just make videos when I see an issue that isn't being covered well or hasn't been covered at all. So this should be, this should work. Let's see. We'll deactivate that. Oh, and uh, go back over here to your assets and uncheck your isolate. And it looks good. Except for right here where you can see the scalp, but that was already like that. Now, you're going to notice something the hair physics will act better you see it almost looks like she doesn't even have hair physics that's how well her hair is falling into place but 
you're going to see that she has full hair physics and it looks great. Looks really good. So I hope that helped you guys. I had to redo this video like three times because I, uh, because the GeForce experience wasn't working the first time. And then the second time uh, after I uninstalled it and reinstalled it, my mic wasn't set up because I forgot to set that up. Anyway, I want to get this out to you.